Last meeting, we discussed about the arithmetic sequence and the geometric sequence. Now, let's proceed to the Fibonacci and harmonic sequence. So, first, let's start with the Fibonacci sequence. So, yung Fibonacci sequence named after Leonardo Fibonacci. So, hindi siya yung talagang nag-develop or nag nag-invento ng Fibonacci sequence. Pinangaral lang ito sa kanya kasi noong 1202, nagsulat si um, Leonardo Fibonacci ng story about a series of number. Doon kasi sa ginawa niyang story na Liber Abasi, um, doon siya nag-propose ng um, story ng isang rabbit, kung paano ba siya nagpaparami. Doon kasi sa book niya na yon pinopose niya this um, following problem or etong nandito sa table na to. So, doon, um, per month niyang inobserbahan yung rabbit. So, sabi dito, pair of rabbits at the start of each month. So, ito yung um, pinapanganak niya na pair per month. So, ito yung first month natin, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, tsaka so and, and so forth. So, sa first month daw niya, meron siyang one pair of rabbits. Then, the second month, we have also the one pair of rabbits ulit. Then, pagkatapos ng um, or noong 3 months na siya, nagkaroon na siya ng 2 pairs of rabbits. Then, noong 4th month, nagkaroon siya ng 3 pairs. Noong 5th month, nagkaroon siya ng 5 pairs. Noong 6 months na siya, nagkaroon na siya ng 8 pairs. Okay, so uh, dito sa table na to, or dun sa story ni um, Leonardo Fibonacci, doon na na propose yung Fibonacci numbers. So, dito sa table natin, ano yung na-observe nyo? So, as you observe, um, the term of the sequence is obtained by adding the previous two terms. So, kung mapapansin nyo, kapag pinag-add natin itong dalawang ito, makukuha natin yung 2. Then, kapag in-add natin itong 1 tsaka 2, makukuha yung 3. Then, kapag pinag-add yung 2 tsaka 3, makukuha yung 5. Then, next, kapag pinag-add natin yung 3 and 5, makukuha natin yung 8. So, yun yung sinasabi ngayon na Fibonacci sequence. Then, kapag kinuha natin yung ratio ng bawat isa dito, makukuha natin is halos magkakaparehas lang sila na nakabatay doon sa ating tinatawag na golden ratio. Yung golden ratio kasi natin, yung ating golden ratio ay approximately equal to 1.6. Then, kapag kinuha daw natin yung ratio naman ng bawat isa dito sa ating Fibonacci sequence, um, halos magkaparehas lang sila doon sa ating golden ratio kasi nga doon siya naka-base. Okay? So, for example, we have here 1 divided by 1 kasi kukunin natin yung ating ratio para lang din siyang um, yung ginamit natin noon sa ating geometric sequence na doon sa kanilang common ratio na A2 divided by A2. Sub 1. So, yun yun. Yun din yung gagamitin natin dito para makuha yung ratio nila. Pero, hindi sila common or hindi sila magkakaparehas. Kasi nga, malapit lang sila sa 1.6 na ating golden ratio. So, let's have an example. So, kunin natin yung ratio nitong dalawang to. So, when we get the ratio of A sub 2 divided by A sub 1 will give us 1. The next, eto naman, tsaka yon. So, kapag pinag-divide natin yan, ang magiging sagot ay 2. The next, ito naman ngayon, 3 divided by 2 will give us 1.5. The next, 5 over 3 will give us. So, ngayon, gagamit tayo ng calcu para makuha natin yung kanyang ratio. So, we have 1.6. Then, so and, and so forth. The next is the ratio of 8 divided by 5. Will give us, so sa, yung ating 8 divided by 5 will give us 1.6. Kung mapapansin nyo, malapit lang siya doon sa ating golden ratio na 1.6. So, approximately 1.6. So, yung ating golden ratio is mostly ginagamit ng mga engineer para makagawa ng perfect structure. So, pati rin sa photography, ginagamit yung golden ratio. Kung napapansin nyo dun sa mga 
ang camera natin, meron kayong nakikita na ganyan. Ang ganyan. So, mostly ito ginagamitan ng golden ratio para maging perfect yung isang structure. Sabi nga nila, kapag kinuha daw natin yung measurement nito, yung noon natin hanggang dito sa ilong, which is magiging numerator natin din, next is ito, tsaka yun, hanggang dito sa ating baba. Kapag kinuha daw natin yung kanyang measurement, ito yung numerator, ito yung denominator. Kapag malapit daw siya sa 1.6 na golden ratio, it means mas malapit daw yung um, mukha mo or yung ganda mo sa perfection. Yung yung sinasabi nila about sa golden ratio. Okay, so recap lang tayo. Kapag sinabi natin Fibonacci sequence, ina-add lang natin yung dalawang term para makuha yung susunod na term. Okay, so for example, 1 plus 1 will give us 2. 2 plus 1 will give us 3. So yun lang yung tinatawag nating Fibonacci Sequence. Then, kapag kinuha natin yung kanyang ratio, doon nakabase yun sa ating golden ratio na approximately 1.6. Okay, so para makuha ulit yun, kukunin natin yung um, A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. So, yung 1 divided by 1 will give us 1. 2 divided by 1 will give us 2. So, yun yung tinatawag nating ratio. So, malapit siya sa ating approximately na golden ratio na 1.6. Now, let's proceed to the harmonic sequence. So, kapag sinabi nating harmonic sequence, ito lang yung ating reciprocal sa reciprocal of the arithmetic sequence. Okay. So, kapag sinabi natin reciprocal, ito yung kabaliktaran ng ating number. So, for example, reciprocal muna tayo ha. We have here 2 over 3. So, kapag kinuha natin yung reciprocal niya, magkakaroon tayo ng 3 over 2. Next, kapag meron tayong 2, kapag kinuha yung reciprocal niyan, magiging 1 half. Kasi nga, meron tayong invisible one dyan. So, kapag kinuha natin yung reciprocal o yung kanyang kabaliktaran, magiging 1 over 2 siya. So, yung tinatawag nating reciprocal. Then, dun sa ating harmonic sequence naman, yung reciprocal daw ng ating arithmetic sequence. Okay. So, let's have an example. So, we have here the following arithmetic sequence. Then, gagawin natin siyang harmonic sequence. So, sinabi natin kanina na kapag harmonic sequence, reciprocal lang siya ng ating arithmetic sequence. So, itong arithmetic sequence na to, ilagay natin or gawin natin harmonic sequence by getting the reciprocal of our arithmetic sequence. So, kapag ito, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25, ito magiging 1 fifth na siya. The next, itong 10 magiging 1 over 10. The next, kapag itong 15 magiging 1 over 15. Then, yung 20 magiging 1 over 20. Then, yung 25 magiging 1 over 25. So, nagawa na natin siyang arithmetic or harmonic sequence. The next, ito naman, second na arithmetic sequence natin, gawin natin harmonic sequence. So, we have yung 3 magiging 1 third, yung 6 magiging 1 over 6, yung 9 magiging 1 over 9, then 12 magiging 1 over 12, then yung 15 magiging 1 over 15. Okay, next, proceed tayo sa last na ating arithmetic sequence, gawing harmonic sequence. So, itong 1 half magiging 2 over 1 na siya or simply 2. The next, yung 1 natin, 1 over 1 magiging, yung 1 natin magiging 1 over 1 lang siya kasi reciprocal, may, meron tayong invisible 1 dyan. So, 1 over 1 pa rin or simply 1. The next, itong 3 halves, kapag binaliktad natin, magiging 2 third na siya. The next, ito. Itong 2, kapag kinuha natin yung kanyang kabaliktaran, magiging, meron tayong invisible 1 ulit dyan, magiging 1 half na siya. The next, itong 5 halves, magiging 2 fifth na siya. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. So, here we have a problem on harmonic sequence. So, sabi dito, Find the next two terms of the following harmonic sequences. So, first is 1 
over 13, 1 over 20, 1 over 27. So, kukunin daw natin yung next two terms natin. Then, yung pangalawa, 3 over 17, 3 over 19, 1 over 7, and 2 over 23. So, dito muna tayo sa first na harmonic sequences natin. So, paano yung gagawin natin dyan? So, sinabi natin kanina na yung um, harmonic sequence natin ay reciprocal ng ating arithmetic sequence. So, ngayon, babalik ta rin natin. Itong binigay ay harmonic sequence. So, gagawin muna natin siya arithmetic sequence para makuha natin yung kanyang common difference. Then, after that, madalaman na natin kung ano yung susunod. Okay. So, kunan muna natin yung kabalik ta niya para mapunta natin siya sa arithmetic sequence. So, ito magiging, um, babalik ta rin lang natin, magiging 13 na siya. Ito magiging 20. Ito magiging 27. Ito naging 13 lang siya kasi nga 13, kapag binalik natin 13 over 1 na siya or simply 13. Ito 20 over 1 magiging simply 20. Then 27 over 1 magiging 27 na lang siya. Ngayon kukunin natin yung kanilang common difference para makuha natin kung ano ba yung mga next term natin. Okay, so paano kumuha ulit ng common difference? By um, subtracting the... Um, Second term to the first term. Okay, so yung formula natin dyan ay uh, common difference equal to a sub 2 minus a sub 1 or a sub 3 minus a sub 2. So, kukunin natin ngayon yung difference nitong dalawang to. So, 20 minus 13 will give us 7. Next, 27 minus 20 will give us also 7. So, 7 yung kanilang common difference. So, ngayon, iya-add natin yung 7 para makuha naman yung susunod na term dito sa ating sequences. Okay, so we have here, gawin natin blanko yung dalawang yan kasi nga, dalawa yung kukunin nating terms. So, we have 7. So, dapat dito mag-add din tayo ng 7 para makuha natin yung next na term. So, 27 plus 7 will give us 34. The next, mag-add ulit tayo ng 7. 34 plus 7 will give us 41. Okay, so ito na yung arithmetic sequence natin. Ngayon, ang tinatanong ay harmonic sequence. So, para itong arithmetic sequence natin maging harmonic, kunin lang natin yung kanilang reciprocal. So, ito, reciprocal niya ay, itong 34 magiging 1 over 34. Then, yung 41 magiging 1 over 41. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Now, let's proceed to our second harmonic sequences. Okay, so we have here 3 over 17, 3 over 19, 1 over 7, and 3 over 23. So, gamitin lang natin or gawin lang natin yung parang ginawa natin kanina sa number 1 which is gawin muna natin siyang arithmetic sequence bago natin makukuha yung kanyang harmonic sequence. Okay, so eto, babalik ta rin lang natin. Magiging 17 over 3. yon magiging 19 over 3. Ito, magiging 7 over 1 or simply 7 na lang siya. The next, 23 um, over 3. So, we have 23 over 3. So, after nyan, kukunin na natin yung kanilang common difference para makuha natin yung susunod na term sa kanila. So, let's apply the um, formula for common difference ulit na d is equal to a sub 2 minus a sub 1. Okay, so nang a sub 2 natin dyan, we have um, 19 over 3 minus 17 over 3. Okay, so kapag nagsusubtract tayo na um, common denominator or the same denominator, ang gagawin lang natin ay copy the denominator, then subtract the numerator. So, copy lang natin yung denominator, which is 3. Then, sa taas ay, minus lang natin magiging 2 third. Okay, para hindi, or para ma-sure natin na, ang um, pareha sila ng common difference, try din ulit natin yung um, 7 at 19 over 3. Okay, so yung difference nila ay 2 over 3. So, gamitin naman ulit natin yung 7 over, or 7 minus 19 over 3. Para makuha natin kung parehas ba talaga yung common or yung difference nila. So, we have 7 minus 19 over 3. Okay, so automatically may 1 dyan. Then, yung kanilang LCD ay 3. Then, 3 divided by 1 will give us 
3 times 7 will give us 21. The next minus 3 divided by 3 will give us 1. 1 times 19 will give us 19. Okay, so kapag pinag-minus natin dyan, magiging 2 over 3. So, paras lang yung kanilang difference. So, we have 2 third ulit dyan. Then, automatically, 2 third pa rin yan. Then, para makuha natin yung next na term, mag-add lang tayo ng 2 third na doon sa ating 23 over 3. So, mag-add tayo dito ng 2 third. So, we have now. So, buruhin ko muna ito para makapag-solve tayo. Okay, so we have 23 over 3. Add lang daw natin yung 2 third. Okay, so same kanina dun sa ating subtraction with the same denominator. Copy lang natin yung denominator, then just add the numerator which is magiging 25. So yung um, next na term natin ay 25 over 3. Then, para makuha ulit yung next na term, dito sa 25 over 3, mag-add ulit tayo ng 2 third. So, mag-add ulit tayo ng 2 third. Okay, so, para sa ulit yung denominator. So, just copy it. Then, add the numerator. 25 plus 7 will give us 27 or simply, pag dina, um, dinibibide natin ito, magkakaroon tayo ng 9. Okay, so, yung next dito ay 9. So, yung next na term natin ay sa ating arithmetic sequence ay 25 over 3 and 9. Pero hindi pa dyan natatapos kasi nga harmonic sequence yung ating kinukuha. So, ito, kukunin natin yung reciprocal para mailagay na natin doon sa ating harmonic sequence. We have magiging 3 over 25. Then, yung 9 magiging 1 over 9. So, nakuha na natin ngayon yung ating harmonic sequences or yung two terms na hinahanap doon sa ating um, harmonic sequence. So, next meeting, pag-usapan naman natin yung harmonic mean and harmonic series.